The Valdivian Temperate Rainforest is a unique type of ecosystem located in southern Chile and Argentina. It is found within Chile's Lake District. The Valdivian Forest has a high level of biodiversity. Many of the plant species here are only found here, and many of them have their closest relatives far away in Australia and New Zealand. Some of the mammals here are rare and hard to see, but it's easy to see many of the bird species. Two black-faced ibis stroll around below a dark-bellied synchroides. A black-chested buzzard eagle surveys the area while a Chilean mockingbird decides to leave. The only hummingbird species around is the green-backed fire crown, which isn't the case in the tropical rainforest. The fuchsia is a native species, while the lupins are introduced and invasive. The austral blackbird has a very long, sharply pointed bill. In this part of the Andes, it's just one volcano after another. A variable hawk is a common raptor. Several of these volcanoes have been active in recent years. The austral negrito feeds by hopping on the ground. The Southern Andes has high lizard diversity. The forest just north of the Valdivian temperate forest proper is the Aracaria forest, or monkey puzzle tree. These trees grow above 3,000 feet and are only found in Chile and Argentina. They take hundreds of years to fully mature and they can live for over a thousand years. Fossils have proven that Aracaria forests were abundant when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. And it's probable that these trees were the main food source for many species during the Jurassic period. That may explain why so many had long necks. A Chilean hawk keeps watch while it has an itch. And what would the Andes be without a condor? Snow and glacier melts fill the many rivers and streams and lakes. Winters are cold and summers are mild. A red gartered coot does some feather maintenance. Here at Greater Yellowlegs, find some food. So much of southern Chile has already been logged, and it is often replanted with Monterey pines and exotic species. The thorn-tailed rayaditos have a shorter breeding season, smaller clutch size, and lower number of broods in highland forests compared to lowland forests. Getting around in southern Chile is easy. The valleys between volcanoes have long since been deforested and put into agricultural production. One very special inhabitant of the Valdivian forest is the Pudu, 
one of the smallest deers in the world. The Pudu lives both inside the forest and in open areas nearby. And there's another snow-covered volcano. The many rivers provide good fishing for both two-legged and four-legged creatures, like the endangered southern river otter. Striped woodpeckers find plenty of insects under the bark. The Chilean shrew opossum isn't much to look at, but it's a super rare marsupial. As in any forest, much of the biological action is well above the ground. The Magellanic Woodpecker is a large woodpecker that moves around a wide area. The male has the red head. Now in the wetter, denser, and darker parts, of this temperate rainforest. The bamboo thickets are the habitat of several tapakulu birds. The chukau tapakulu scurries around in the understory. The black-throated wet-wet is an expert at staying hidden. Who knows how the Desmere's wire tail uses that tail? Bamboos and ferns make up the understory of the Valdivian rainforest, and gunnera is common in open areas. These rivers provide some of Chile's best trout fishing. Harvesting wood began with the Spaniards, who shipped lumber from Chiloé to Peru as far back as the 1500s, and land was also cleared for farming and cattle raising. But old-growth forest giants can still be found here and there. This Aracaria gives you a sense just how big they were. The Valdivian forest has many endemic tree species. The Patagonian cypress, or Fitzroya, is the largest tree in South America. Other trees include Olmo and Winter's Bark. The Chilean totara, or Chilean podocarp, is rare and threatened. Tepa is another endemic. Tinteo is an evergreen. The Olivillo tree can live over 270 years. In the Chiloé beach, Another evergreen is in the Nothophagus family. In fact, further south, another Nothophagus, Magellan's Beach, is the most common tree in southern Patagonia. The Austral parakeet flies in small groups and feeds mainly on seeds, but also nuts, fruits, berries, and leaf buds. This juvenile austral thrush is getting ready for life. The Patagonia fox lives on both sides of the Andes in southern South America. It is very omnivorous. The white-throated tree runner is always looking for an arthropod snack. This species is tightly associated with Nothophagus forests, that is, beech forests. Austral owls are always heard before they are seen. This is another species that prefers Nothophagus forests, but also lives in scrubby areas.
The Chilean coat of arms has two rare animals on it, or Weymul and the Andean condor. The Weymul, or South American deer, is endangered and endemic to Chile. On the contrary, this slender-billed parakeet is common and can fly in flocks of 100s. The Valdivian coastal forest is distinct from the forest in the Andes, but related. Very little of this unique forest is protected and it is surrounded by commercial logging operations. The trees are turned into wood chips. The wood chips are shipped to Asia, where they are made into paper, particle board, and plywood. In this area just south of the town of Valdivia, the Nature Conservancy purchased some 60,000 hectares from a bankrupt logging company and is helping local communities conserve some of the last coastal Valdivian forest.